up guys, welcome back to another cooking video. Today I'm going to be making you guys rainbow trout. Why is rainbow trout a good fish for us? It's low in salt, it's low in calories, it's lean, high in omega-3 fatty acids. It also poses good health benefits because of that. And there's a lot of health benefits for the differences in farm-raised fish versus wild caught. For rainbow trout, I was told that the farm-raised is the better one for our health. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to cook it right now. So if you guys are ready for this cooking video, please keep watching. So this is the packaging. I just wanted to point it out before we started that it's only $4. So if you guys were to tell me you're going to get a great meal with lean protein that's healthy, that's good for your brain, good for your heart, good for your body, wouldn't you say yes for 4 bucks? I think that's a great, great deal. So just to point that out for you guys, rainbow trout is pretty cheap. Doesn't mean it's not good for you. So just keep that in mind when you guys are shopping for fish. Started out with a little pan searing flour and I'm going to rub down the filet in that right here. I have some chopped onion, some chopped red and green bell pepper, and some asparagus to throw in at the end, but I'm gonna be throwing the filet around in this pan searing flour just to give it a light coat. I already salt and peppered the filet, as you can see. All right, it's already peppered and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw it around. This is just gonna help with searing. Right. After you're done, you just wanna pat off the rest of the pan searing flour. We're good on both sides, all right? Not using gloves today, so I'm gonna take a break, wash my hands. But remember, if you don't use gloves in the kitchen to stay sanitary in between everything you do, make sure you always wash your hands. Today I'm gonna to be using olive oil. I'm gonna be searing this, so make sure you have a healthy oil to cook with. We're gonna be adding a basting oil and a little bit of ghee at the end of this. Have your stove on medium to high heat, and then just monitor the fish. I'm not gonna be using a thermostat for it, but if you had a thick piece, like a piece of salmon, I would recommend using a thermometer to see what temperature the inside of the fish is, but because this is so thin, it's gonna be easier to cook. Use a tablespoon of organic ghee along with some basting oil and just baste the filet. You're going to see it. But this is a great finish to any fish dish that you guys are cooking. Alright guys, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed the process of cooking rainbow trout. Just so you guys know, that was me pan searing it. You guys saw me use that flour and seasoning rub before, and then I used the basting oil afterwards along with that ghee. That's one way to cook your fish, but there's many other ways to cook fish, and I recommend you guys try incorporating these types of meals into your diet. They're very beneficial for our health, and they help with weight loss as well. They're a great low calorie, low sodium, low fat, high protein type meal. That's something I really recommend for those of you out there that are trying to hit those strides in dieting. And for those of you out there that don't eat fish, that want to see a certain type of dish featured on this channel, let me know. Drop a comment below on any future type of video you want to see cooking wise, and I'll try to feature your dish as well. But for another cooking video, my name is Brett Cap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.